Hi there. So there's this thing called forgiveness. And sometimes when we think about uh, forgiveness, we're just kind of like, I cannot forgive that person because they hurt me so badly. And we hang on to what it is that happened. And in our memory, it keeps coming back to visit us. And so we're keeping that alive. We're keeping that issue, that concern alive. When, if we forgave the person and just let it go, and it doesn't mean that you forget it because it, it just stays with you. But if you don't mention it anymore and don't tell everybody about it, and if we don't uh, keep playing it over in our mind, then it eventually just kind of fades away. But forgiveness is an interesting thing because it is said by uh, the person that we all, so many of us consider to be the great, greatest way shower of all time. And he said to forgive 70 times seven. And I think, gosh, if I ever gave somebody 490 times, I think I'd probably let that go. <laughs> so I forgive. Anything that has occurred in my life on the people that I feel have hurt me. And if I remember that that person was doing what they did because they were coming from probably some some place within them where they were not really very practiced. They were not in a good place themselves. Or they may not have done something that it would have been so hurtful. And if they had any idea what they did would have brought so much harm to someone else. Maybe they would have never done it. And if he, he or she had, yes, had known that it would bring harm, then in the long run, that harm would just wash over them all the time because they didn't understand the great harm they would create. And then they probably just continue doing things like that to other people and other situations. And it just creates a really horrific life for them. So forgive, let go. It's about letting go. And I think one of the greatest challenges we ever have with anything is letting go. And I just have to do that over and over again, letting go of, of things that I feel were harmful to me or things that people do that are challenging or people, and I have to keep remembering um, that they just didn't understand that same great way shower, one of the last things that he's quoted as saying was, forgive them for they know not what they do. And that's exactly what it is. People don't know that that's what they're doing. They're just, they're shooting from the hip and they're, they're hurting themselves and they're doing something that, uh, or saying something, or they had some kind of response where you happen to be in the, in the direct um, limelight of that and you happen to get hurt by it. And maybe they intended to hurt you. But if they knew at their greatest self, they wouldn't have done that. And so I forgive. I forgive and I forgive 490 times and then some. And let me just say to you, if I've ever done anything to harm you or to bring you harm or to hurt you in any way, I please ask your forgiveness. Please forgive me. Please let go of whatever it is that you're hanging on to that I may have done. And I apologize for something that may have been hurtful or harmful to you. I really truly do believe that everything that we do uh, comes from love. It comes from the greatest sense of who we are. And in that, we then extend that outward to everyone that we know. And that love prevails and when we do this there's there's one way you could do this I learned this from a woman that I just adore and she was taught this by her mother that whenever she felt challenged and she went to go do something she would just say love 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 and she would know that that love would precede her in anything she does so I invite you to do that because I remember that myself it's just it's so simple and just say when you start to do something or before you go somewhere Remember someone that you love so dearly, that loves your heart. It could be, uh, you know, your partner. It could be your husband, your wife, your child, your grandchild. It could be something you just love to do. It could be an animal that you adore, that adores you as well. 
And just remember that feeling, Tom, because it's all about the feelings of love. And remember that love and just extend that love before you everywhere you go. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Share it. And you'll be mightily surprised how having in that mindset, how things will just kind of synchronistically come together. There'll be a synchronistically, a synchronous grace is what I'm trying to say. It's a synchronous grace. And your intuition will tap in that voice, that inner voice within you, that still small voice that kind of guides you along the way that's always there for you. I believe I'm surrounded by angels and spirits and, and, and that type of thing as well. And you'll receive the guidance from them directly or you might receive it from someone else that might just remind you of something that is just yet another way for you to understand that this life is so precious and you're here on purpose. So forgive, let go, and love. It's simple. And when you love and you just open your heart wide open to love, forgiveness is easy. It's easy. Just keep doing that. And you'll open yourself up to ways in which you let go of those instances and let go of the people. And just send them on their merry way. Know for them that they're doing hopefully doing good things in the world, but you don't need to hold on to that grievance any longer because it's no longer within you. You keep you don't keep echoing it in your mind and you don't keep living it in your memory. You let it go and you make room for something else. Make room for love. Make room for new growth, new change, new good things to come your way. And know just how amazing you are. And so this is in my book. Oh, let's see. I've got a couple of them here. This is, there, let's get, get the shine off. Um, there once was a kitty named Digit. It's in this, um, the first of my children's books. And this illustration is of her friends um, in Colorado. There's the Colorado mountains in the background, and these are her bunny friends. Because you know if there's one bunny, there's a bunch of bunnies, right? But she has a lot of different types of bunny friends. And so they have all gathered together here to surround her in the love that they have. And that cozy little, cute little character going down under the tree and this cute little one sitting here and this one up in the tree and there's some bunnies back here in the background and there's other bunnies someplace that we can't even see them. <laughs> so these are Digit's friends. She's surrounded with love. She's surrounded with all of the characters that she loves so greatly. And in this particular story, this is Buckminster Bunny. Isn't he cute? He has little buck teeth. And he's ever so cute. So, sending y'all lots of love and knowing for you that you're just right where you need to be right now. And you can make it easy for yourself by just opening up to love, letting go, forgiving. One moment to the next moment to the next moment. And you'll be amazed. And you'll amaze everyone around you how you've changed because you've let go of this grievance that you've held on to for so long. Sending you lots of love. As Grandma used to say, love you bunches. Bye for now.